You know, you could help me out with Howard if you wanted to. He listens to you, you're his best friend. I am tired. Tired of all of this hysteria about Howard Beale. Every time you see someone in your family, you come back in one of these morbid middle-aged moods. And I am tired of finding you on the goddamn phone every time I turn around. I'm tired of being an accessory in your life. And I am tired of pretending to write this damn book about those Maverick years and those great early days of television. Every news exec fired in the last 20 years has written that book, but not me. I'll be fine. I always have been and always will. It's you I'm more worried about. Once I'm gone, you'll be back in the eyes of your own desolate terrors. $50 studs, sleepless contemplations of suicide, you're not really a boozer, so I figure a year, maybe two, before you crack up or jump out of your 14th floor window. Stop yelling, Max. I don't need you. the only thing between you and the shrieking nothingness that you live for the rest of your days. Then don't leave me! It's too late! Diana, you're one of Howard's humanoids. And if I stay with you, I will be destroyed. Like Howard Beale was destroyed, like Lauren Hobbs was destroyed, like everything you and the institution of television touches is destroyed. You're television incarnate, insensitive to joy, indifferent to suffering. You're virtual and madness, and if I stay with you, I will be destroyed. But not while I can still feel pleasure, pain, and love. It's a happy ending, Diana. Wayward husband returns to his senses to his wife, with whom he has built a loving and sustaining relationship. Heartless woman left in her arctic desolation. Music swells, curtain rises, and here's a few commercials for next week's show. <laughs> 